Okay, not book. Come on, Spider, get involved. <laughs> Look at this boy. Fuck. Well, I don't want them to have any of my shit. Fuck that. Fuck it right in the pussy. Well, what can I say? You can fuck off. Nah, I'm in lobby now, it's done. boys rest in fucking peace whoa what's going on this is episode 2 series 2 will dependent here otherwise known as Finn and this episode here will hopefully tingle your taste buds it certainly has done to mine um, we're kicking off the day here with a bit of pecan I've been doing a fair bit of this partly because it's something that really does help me get um, get a bit of money and you will later see in this episode that I seriously do make some money from pecan and here's just a quick clip of some guy who was at East Drags he decided to um, sc to skull on some green dragon bots for some reason He's saying, wow, you get three D-bones. Uh, I think we can all agree, judging by the fact that he's got a skull above his head, that he might be bullshitting me. So I decided to follow him down. He actually was so nearly getting out of my range. He only needed to go down another three levels here. But he didn't, and he fucked about. He was walking around, praying the wrong prey, and I killed him. <laughs> uh, I have a little look at the loot. There we are, Dragon Dagger. No, it's not amazing, but it's enough to piss him off, which makes me happy, because that guy sounded like a bit of a dick. And, yeah, there was... Was that three dragon bones? Yeah, might have been. Anyway, this next clip is the one. It's the one and only. The one that I was hiding from all of you guys. Uh, the bank tab. The final bank tab. Here we go. So, I decided to hop around and do a bit of no honor PKing, which basically means you attack people that aren't PKing. Which is a bit sad, but seeing as I can't leave the wilderness, I think it's kind of fair enough. Um, I log in, this guy's level 54, so in my range, TB in, and it seems like he's AFK, which is quite common actually, especially when you're training at this place, you're going to spend most of your time actually watching porn or something. Anyway, the narration will follow, and enjoy. What? The fuck even is this? Holy sandals? Whatever. <laughs> I'm confused. Well, I had no reason to be confused. Um, I price checked those three items and they all came to a total of about 1.5 million. And as you know, I can't trade anyone, so I can't technically sell them for that price. But they will come in great use, as I do do a lot of AFK training myself. And I will be sure to look after them a bit more than he did. So here's me killing some guy at Middle Dragons. Um, he's teleblocked, he's spam clicking his tele tab, but he can't go anywhere. So he died. Unfortunately, he didn't actually drop that much, but um, he gave me some bones to um, comprehend with. Have a, have a bit of a prayer XP. So that was nice. So here I am at East Dragons, and that is a charge spell I'm using. That um, actually increases the max hit of your god spell by 10. So you can hit 30s instead of 20s. And this poor little ranger was a bit AFK. Here's a comment tray. Stop AFKing, bruv. Just gonna need it. Just gonna feel it. Why are, you, why are you attacking? Hey, bitch. Sorry, I don't really know what I've wrong put that on. Why? 
Alright, 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 alright. Fucking man up. Man up. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's alright, man. Oh, I know. So I quickly logged out because that PK was there, but when I logged back in, I was happily surprised at how many um, iron knives I did actually get. How many did I? I got 2k iron knives. Are you on drugs? You boys see this? Come on, mate, you got that. kid as well. Come back here you can. Get behind. Get fucking behind on this can. Come on. Entangle him. Oh my god. I hate this account. <laughs> they can't love me. Look at what I'm risking as well. I just PK 2k iron fucking knives. Yeah that guy didn't really seem like he knew what he's doing. Um, shame I didn't get him. But uh Anyway, so I've been saving my episodes in order, as in when I record a clip, I will save it in under Monday or Tuesday, depending on the day I've taken it, and that makes it easier to edit, but it does mean that within the episode, I'm going to be, um, the clips will be a bit jumbled up. But anyway, here's me getting 63 strength at Chaos Druids. Woohoo! Come back here. You little bastard. Take the fucking feel of it. Make him a fucking meal of it. Oh, what? No, he's got food. No, he hasn't. <laughs> wow. Oh, I forgot my looting bag. You bastards. Uh, what arrows are you using? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw someone running at me in the minimap, so I decided to get the fuck out of there. Anyway, this was me up at Rose Castle. Uh, some guy was thieving the chests, or stealing from the chests up here. And they, these guys normally drop a good amount of sharks and coal. Um, I KO'd him for a 27, which is my lucky number. What am I doing? Got a kill this world. Only level 12. Well done. Yeah, why don't you go tell the fucking RS Popo as well to have you fucking locked up, mate. Don't go and tell people that shit. So I've got 20 noted sharks, uh, a couple of death runes, 30 death runes, a bit of raw tuna, which I love because it's good for cooking and it's also really good for training. So yeah, uh, all in all, pretty good PK, seeing as it only took about three hits. Sweet. So my friend decided to come PKing with me. Um, I thought, well, okay, you can come along, but um, get in TeamSpeak so we can chat to each other. It's a bit like Skype, if you didn't know. And I logged out when I saw this main running at me. So I logged, yeah, I logged out, ran up, and I saw that double nineteens to my mate's head. While it was AFK trying to set up TeamSpeak, and um, yeah, it didn't end great. Six x six x six 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 sixty four strength. Sixty nine barrage. And range. Fuck it, boys. Let's do it. Let's do this. You ready? Send the TB. Come on, mate. Let's go. Let's go. Sad cunt, no prey. Fucking eye and then prey, whatever. Don't fucking run from me, you can't.
Alright, if you're praying, I'm praying. Same for us. What is he doing? Why is he running from me? people like that. Hit one second. You ready? I've already killed this guy. He's AFK. What is it with kids going, doing dragons and going AFK? Where's the big hits at, JX? One more biggie. One more biggie. <laughs> One more biggie. Fuck. Die. Jesus. Good fight. Alright. I've got 14 Chaos Runes. And now I have 279. So you tend to get genies when you do something, whether it's burying a bone or teleporting or something. And I put it on mining at the moment. I'm hoping to get 15 mining for iron ore. Nearly there. Fuck it. Fuck off. Fucking AFK, and all you can do is fucking say, Nay, mate, hit him, for fuck's sake. Get one. Before you fucking get attacked, get a fucking tangle on the cunt. Wow, what's my agility? Three? Thank you. Good fight, man. really a fight but you could run. Uh, red band braces. Have <laughs> life. Not bad. Kind of embarrassing how that guy's got better range than me, but whatever. What? Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's exactly the same as what the other guy dropped earlier. I don't know how many of you guys um, used to free to play PK, but um Basically, you'd get into Ventrilo or TeamSpeak, and it'd normally sound pretty much like this. No! Get a boing, 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 get a boing. I said, get a boing, 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 get a boing. I said, get a boing, 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 get a boing. Get a boing, 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 get a TB, get a TB, get a punt, get a cow, how many fucking splashes can I make? So I decided to go a bit deeper into the wilderness, where people can't quite, you know, get away from me, uh, especially with the use of Teleblock. And this guy, Fwawing, Fwawing, Fwawing? I don't know how to pronounce it, he was um, a fan, just sort of bumped into me, which is kind of cool, hey man. Um, but yeah, I was just chasing this guy who I sort of assumed had um, a bit of loot on him because he was running. People, what is it, innocent people don't run? That's a, a quote from Hot Fuzz. And I think that's kind of quite a true quote. You know, you're not going to run unless you've got something to keep. Um, but I was actually kind of wrong. Um, he was tanking me on trouts. 
I was like, well, I might get some arrows off him. I might get some chins. Who knows? Uh, getting some chins would be great for 61 range. So then I can, um, whatever range level it is, I think it's 61. Uh, I can train with chins up at spiders and multi. But um, yeah, it was saying mage box or whatever. Basically, he's, he banked them before I could kill him. I lubed it. And he had nothing, which is sad. But um, quite a fun little, little chase that was. So, my friends, it was time for um, PVM of the week. Uh, today, I decided to take on the Chaos Fanatic, slightly less hardcore than last week. But um, I thought I'd give my account a little bit of a break. At least I thought it would be. Um, it's not the most challenging boss, but you've got to be aware. It will send out these um, this green spell, which is like a multi-attack sort of spell. That will um, explode in three different places, and if you're aware it explodes like now, you uh, get hit pretty hard. I think you can hit up to sort of 25s, and all three of them can hit you at once if you're unlucky. So that's 75 damage, which would smash me to pieces. But uh, like I say, you see it coming, and you just got to run the fuck out of the way. Um, I've never done this before on this account, but I've actually tackled it on my pure before and this is when it first ever came out so there's lots of PKs running around and stuff but the, in fact there weren't actually that many this time I didn't see anyone but uh, mainly because the the, reward, the rewards on this boss ain't that great it gives like a part of the shield um, the famous wieldy shield I don't even know what it's called but wieldy shield sounds pretty fucking cool um, it, it gives one of the shards for both of those shields along with the other two medium bosses um, but I'm not really going for that. I don't know why I was attempting to kill it. I suppose it's a it's a main goal really of mine just to kill all the wilderness bosses. Um, loots I've had from it before are split bark plate body and ancient staff. Those two drop it. I'd also quite I was <laughs> hoping I'd get one of those um, chaos pets. They look kind of cool, um, but I I think I was hoping for a bit too much there, um, seeing as I was only killing it once. It took a bit longer than I thought, but then you've got to bear in mind the fact that I am only, was it 52 range in this clip? Um, and I'm using Myth Bolts, which are pretty shit. Um, as you can see, I've got my beautiful Ancient Meter on. Mitra, Mitra, Mitra. Um, I didn't want to bring the cloak and the boots because I will lose them on death. Because the, um, the Ancient Mitre, the Ancient Cloak, and the Holy Boots, they're really good prayer bonuses. So that will give me extra time to um, do other things whilst I AFK train at Chaos Elders so you know instead of maybe a 1 minute 30 um, like prayer drain rate it will go up to maybe 2 minutes and 10 or something just gives you that extra bit of time um, but I'm not going to risk it this far into the wildy because I probably will lose it um, yeah slowly but surely killing this boss um, I'm slightly worried about Jagex and their sort of mental conditions because they've coded this this boss to say pretty much a la 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 you'll see it in a minute and some other shit about squidgy squidgy I mean I know this boss is throwing out bombs but there's no need to get racist on a fucking pixelated game but yeah um, so I got to the stage where I got my final hit in and it died and I was very disappointed with the loot so I didn't even bother trying to get a second kill in and yeah five battle staffs I think they out for a few K each but that is another boss ticked off the list Sweet. what's going on my friends and it is Finley here and I am working towards getting my smithing up oh shit hang on is that PK if it is can he get me yes he can should we see if he's a PK Hey, don't do the hey thing on me. I know what that means. Hi. You back the fuck off of me. That's a clan, isn't it? You can just tell. I'm getting ready to run. What you doing? Um, collecting copper ore. This is awkward. You'll say why. Oh, shit. Ooh. Need some rings. No TY. Can't trade people. I'm a <laughs> wieldy iron man. Join my C C. 
Nice YouTube series, first time I've ever seen what you're doing. Good luck. Nice name. TY. Nice. I'm one hand typing, boys. Nice name. Um. <laughs> I think I'm getting away with this. Anyway, back to smithing. Um, so I'm collecting copper ore. And I can kill zombies for tin ore. And when I get enough, I can smelt them into bronze bars. And um, get my smithing up. This is the only way to get 15 smithing, other than lamps. But I'm using my lamps on mining at the moment, which is 8, nearly level 9. On the next lamp I'll get 9. Uh, that's eight, uh, 80 XP per lamp at the moment. It all depends on what level you are. Uh, if I'm level 98, I'll probably get 4k XP, so it's all dependent. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I've got two in my inventory. I've got three in my bag and two in my bank, so that's seven copper ore at the moment. I've actually got a couple of screenies. Um, I'll show you the screenies after this video. But uh, yeah, it's fairly fairly long winded but it's good XP at the same time and something I have noticed is that is that the chaos elemental can actually attack me through the wall which is kind of a bit of a bummer but life goes on um, just gotta make sure it's not within the castle walls when I do it but uh, whilst I do this I'm also collecting gold ore for when I am 40 smithing and then I can work on items such as rings and amulets but again that's in, in the future but being a iron man you always have to think ahead so whilst I have space in my inventory I may as well be collecting gold ore uh, what I normally do is kill three and then I world hop, then I world hop and then I hop back to the same world but yeah that's what I'm doing at the moment so oh fuck oh my god I'm sort of panicking no 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 they don't ready for the two hit <sighs> Please don't kill me. Um, yeah, thought that might happen. Prick. Let's get away from this atrocity. That's a word. What a prick. It starts with one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that so I was going for a bit more copper ore, and this guy had been waiting outside. This PK had been just hovering around outside the castle for ages, but he wasn't much of a threat. He didn't have an amulet. He wasn't scold. So me and this guy were just like, well, "What's he doing? Is he laggy?" This guy came up just to check out how I was doing up at the castle, just chilling in my clan chat. And we're like, "Well, what's this other guy doing? Is he just laggy or what?" So I thought I'd carry on um, killing the rogues until he moved. I had a feeling he was pretending to be like a snake, um, you know, when they play dead, and then you walk up to them and then they pounce. I was kind of expecting that sort of thing to happen. But uh, still no real movement from him, so um, I eventually thought, well, you know what? If he is laggy, and if he's DC'd, well, there's only one thing to do in it, and that's to get some free runes. So I manned up. And I ran at him, <laughs> started hitting him, and he was staff bashing, so I just immediately knew that he'd DC'd. And I was like, well, that's free runes for me, boys. Um, I was even sad enough to protect Melee. So I was fucking buzzing, trying to work out how much shit I'd get if I'd get any Mystic. And he X logged off. Oh, mate, I was in, I was in rage mode. And the next thing that pissed me off was um fucking carrying the chaos element all decided to fucking start attacking through the wall like who the fuck does this cunt think it is? Just fucking chucking spells in through a wall like I can't do it back at it so why should it be able to do it at me man? So I was gonna go kill zombies for tin ore but I kept getting attacked by other zombies and it was getting really hard to train range. That's 53 for you. Um, but. I did a bit more research and found out that Black Knights also drop tin ore and they're safe spotable. So well, here's a genie and I got my mining up, 90 more XP, so I'm near level 10 now. 
and yeah you can safe spot the black knights here uh, this spot was almost good because you can safe spot them there but they get unaggressive and then therefore they walk they don't immediately get stuck in the safe spot and then you have to try and lure them or go and get them aggressive again and then when you come back the other one's out of place and will start attacking you and it wasn't really working but then I remembered that there's the dark knights sorry the black knights down at the wilderness ditch and my rule is that I can't cross a ditch but I haven't got any rules saying that I can't attack over it so I actually went down there and started attacking the black knights over the ditch uh, and I brought my telegraph spells with me so I've got two computers one's upstairs one's downstairs uh, the downstairs one is the one I record on and the upstairs one's the one I lie in bed on and play and I don't record on that one so these are all the pictures from my upstairs computer uh, loads of tin ore from the black knights strange I got 54 range but yeah I'm not gonna bore you with clips and pictures of how I got each and every single ore for my smithing but um you get the gist of how I got my smithing up and how I collected the items for it so this is how it's done um, I could use the anvil and furnace that are down in sort of medium level wilderness but they're so far apart and so far away from a bank and I've got so much leftover money I'm happy to go to the wilderness resource area and spend 7.5k each time to enter sounds stupid but there's not much else I need to spend money on at the moment so I'm quite happy to do that uh, especially if it's only to get 15 smithing um, so the first bronze bar was smelted beautiful and uh, basically I just made whatever I could make the best item that I could make at the time I would make um, unless I had one bar left and then I'd make uh, uh, bronze knives sweet three smithing <laughs> But yeah, that's all for episode 2, so thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. When I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm going to play a little game. Um, when I get close to that, I'll uh, upload a video more about it. Alright, thanks for watching.